Uh, as you know, last Friday I interviewed, had 40 minutes with a woman called, um, what is her name? Um, um, Candace Owens. She's a fairly popular, fairly high profile, well, podcaster, blogger, social media influencer in the United States. Um, she's called controversial, which means there's a whole lot of stuff that people on the woke left don't agree with that she says. And she faces accusations of anti-Semitism. And um, that, of course, gets people very uh, exercised. She's coming to New Zealand and Australia. And this week we saw Mark Dolder um, from Newsroom write a piece basically suggesting that a whole lot of people don't want her here and the immigration people should stop her coming. And it was typical Mark Dolder, woke, lefty, limp-wristed, pearl-clutching stuff. We talked yesterday to the Holocaust Centre um, and to Ms Hart, Deborah Hart from the Holocaust Centre, who suggested in part during the interview that perhaps Mr Dolder had kind of bent her words a little bit. Um, she said, let Candace Owens come here and if people want to go and see her, that's fine, but she wouldn't be. So is this such a big controversy or not? And I know the same controversy is bubbling uh, across the Tasman. And what do we do with people? Uh, and look, I've gone back and I've looked at, at Candace Owens' stuff. She's weird on a few things, but I wouldn't quite call her, though I no, shouldn't be the judge of this, she doesn't seem to cross the line into anti-Semitism. She does seem to be hanging around the neighbourhood of doesn't know what she's talking about. Um, how should the Jewish community, which has had a bloody rough run lately in New Zealand, how should they respond to this? We're joined now from uh, the New Zealand Jewish Council by Juliet Moses. Juliet, lovely to have you back Hi. on the programme. How are you? Thank you. Good, how are you? All right. Um, Good. Look, you know... Um, should we all be losing our minds over Candace Owens or not? Well, look, she is... Uh, some of the stuff she says is abhorrent, in my view. Um, mm. What I, in particular? I, I could you... Julie, because okay. I've looked and it never quite gets there mm. to me. But. OK, well, the fact that she says that she doesn't think Joseph Mengele actually did the medical she never experiments said that... that she said well, it seems like propaganda. She, once again, she never actually well, said okay. that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, come on, that, that's mincing words. The, the, well, no, the no, because words are important, Juliet. She never actually well, no, said she thought clear, it was... Um, yeah. The clear implication... Okay, she said it seems like propaganda. The clear implication from that, yeah. and she said it was basically unbelievable that he could have done this stuff. The clear implication is that she doesn't believe it. Isn't it? I mean, what other implication would you take from that? That she's a bit well, stupid. Actually, that's well, the implication well, we, I take we, from. We, 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 agree, we agree on that for sure. Um, I mean, put it this way. She's wanting to lead her millions of followers to that conclusion, right? Is would, she uh, or is she just wanting to keep that. her millions of followers fed? It, well, both, I think. Uh, I mean, so I, again... Totally agree with you yeah. that she that she thrives on controversy and attention, and therefore that's why, uh, or partly why, the Jewish Council uh, thinks that she shouldn't be stopped from coming, mm. and we don't oppose her visit because that gives her exactly what she wants. That creates the controversy and the attention, which is what she sort of courts. I mean, you know, if we learn anything from the Posey Parker visit, mm. I think it's that someone who is not necessarily that well-known, although, I mean, obviously, as we've just talked about, Candace does have a big yeah. following, but I, I suspect probably... It seems to me within a certain silo of, of a certain type of people, Correct. to be honest. Correct. Yeah. So, so when you start opposing someone and making a big fuss about them, especially someone like her... Strides and effect. You know, exactly, exactly. So, you know, I, I agree with what Deb Hart said, you say, Deborah Hart said, yeah. which is just ignore her, turn, turn your back on her. Um, that, that's a better response in this case. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that, that's my view. So your look, challenge look, I mean, now, yeah. your challenge now, the Jewish community's challenge now, is that when people perhaps highlight some of the wackier stuff that Candace, I mean, the moon landing stuff itself was pretty odd. Um 
your challenge and is going to be to hold your tongue. Help Michael Jackson. Well, well <laughs> I mean, it's always a judgment call. You know, we never, obviously, as you've pointed out, there is a lot of anti-Semitism. It's on the increase. It is always a judgment call for the Jewish Council or anyone who's worried about these issues as to when you comment on something, thereby giving it further oxygen or, you know, potentially giving it further oxygen and when you ignore it. And, yeah. you know, sometimes we think it's so important that we do have to say something and, and partly that will depend on the person who's saying it. Is it a politician who's saying it, for example? Um, yeah. You know, what is the platform of the person who's saying it? What exactly have they said? And, and yeah, or whether we do just ignore it. And it, mm. it's a judgment call. But that is, of course, you know, one of the issues that people face where you are you live in an open society where there is or should be freedom of speech. You know, yeah. how do you respond to something? Yeah. Um, and look, we'll probably have her back on the program. I may meet her while she's out. Uh, I'm a journalist. I've got to rub shoulders with a lot of different uh, types of people. Uh, look, Juliet, as yeah. I've got you here, I wanted to ask your question. We got It was very busy at the time. This issue of the wraparound ad by Hobson's Pledge mm. and the Herald taking a clearly moral position mm -hmm. or some sort of corporately moral position on the content of that ad. I was wondering how the Judith, Jewish community felt about that, given that the Herald and other um, news organisations, including Stuff, have published ads which are clearly encourage anti-Semitism by way of, for example... John Minto's claims that there's a genocide going on in Gaza mm -hmm. and have mm -hmm. refused to publish statements on behalf of the Jewish community. And I was wondering mm -hmm. during that, that Pobson's Pledge controversy if the Jewish community didn't feel that there was some hypocrisy coming from our, our legacy media. Oh, yeah, <laughs> of course. I mean, the, the, you know, there's double standards all, you know, a lot of double standards at the moment. And again, that's actually a point that I tried to get across in my statement about Candace Owens, which was in the, the newsroom article, yeah. which is that there's been plenty of other anti-Semites coming into the country in the last few years, and no one has, you know... Well, been we're letting them march in the streets of our major and, cities well, uh, every well, weekend. Well, that too. Well, that too. Yeah, um, yeah there, there are a lot of double standards around and you know it, it is hard to stick to principles sometimes I mean the easy response I guess in a way for us would have been to jump up and down about Candace Owens and say no ban her um, but we also believe very strongly in freedom of speech and um, you know that an open society where these things uh, you know can be left to sort of play out and that there's a, a counter response, there needs to be a counter response and there's critiquing and on that point if you do meet with her I hope you do really challenge her hard on some of the things well, she Well we says. did an um, interview for 40 that, minutes we went into some areas yeah. and I'll be honest I deliberately didn't um, go down the anti-Semitic stuff, I hadn't read enough about what she'd said and to be yeah. honest I didn't want to highlight it because I think it's wacky, we went moon yeah. landings and stuff, I completely agree with her on climate change and a few other things Here's yeah. another, like, really serious question to you about the way that cancel culture operates. Mm. Uh, you know the position of the platform and my position on things mm -hmm. like, you know, the terrorist attacks of October 7th and everything. Mm -hmm. Am I at risk if I engage with Candace Owens and don't call her a Nazi? Am I at mm. risk of then being excluded by the Jewish community? We'll never talk to him. He's a terrible Nazi by association as well. <laughs> 